Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, October 13th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KETC News Brief. In the aftermath of Hurricane Delta, so many families continue to clean up the damage that was left behind. That includes the Lott family in Opelousas. A tree came crashing down right on their home during the hurricane. Luckily, no one was injured, but the family has been forced to take drastic measures, including sleeping in their car. I'm scared, I'm mad, I'm upset, but I'm starting to get like real mad because we need help. No one's reaching out or anything and I don't know what to do. And just sleeping outside, like, that scares me. I don't know what people are capable of, you know. St. Landry Parish has requested federal assistance from FEMA, but that won't be available until a federal disaster declaration has been made. In the meantime, storm survivors are urged to report damages from Hurricane Delta at damage.la.gov. If you're in need of shelter, you can also call 211 or send a text message to LA Shelter 898 211. Across the state, crews are still working to restore power in the aftermath of Delta. At last check, about 100,000 outages are reported. That's down from the peak of 688,000 in the immediate aftermath of the storm. As of noon, power remained out for 45% of Acadia Parish and 62% of Jeff Davis Parish. Catholic Charities of Acadiana is in need of volunteers to help out in applying tarps on damaged roofs. Those interested in volunteering can find a link to sign up over at KETC.com. Catholic Charities of Acadiana is also in need of tarps. You can drop any tarps off to Goodwill of Acadiana locations or buy them online and have them shipped directly to the Catholic Charities warehouse. We're asking for folks to volunteer to help us apply tarps. There are hundreds of homes that are in need of this service, folks who can't do it themselves. Let's get a check of the forecast now from Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Hey Rob. Hey Jim. Well, actually the weather cooperative for all the cleanup and recovery post hurricane Delta by tomorrow morning, mid fifties with clear skies and then tomorrow beautiful day. Lots of sunshine, upper seventies to lower eighties during the course of the afternoon, still comfortable humidity. And as we go down the line, not quite as cool tomorrow night, but we'll be watching a frontal boundary. that will get here Thursday night. That's going to bring down breezy, much cooler weather and plenty of clouds as well going into Friday. It's certainly going to feel like fall here going into Friday and the weekend. So lots of sunshine as we head into our Wednesday, Thursday, a little bit warmer. Here comes that front Thursday night and then really feeling like fall with highs holding in the 60s Friday, uh, dropping down into the 40s, we think to near 50 as we head into Saturday morning, Saturday, lots of sunshine. And look at this temperatures barely get into the low to mid 70s warming up for Sunday. Another front we think as we go into early next week, next week looks like a relatively benign weather pattern. Not too hot, but not too cool either. That's it for now. We're going to have more coming up in just a little bit.